the future of virtual production. No green screen, no LED wall, no studio light. Just one camera, natural light, and everything was composite entirely in Unreal Engine. The idea was simple. Film outdoor with no cuts and see how far we can take in post. We are talking clean rotoscoping, relining, full 3D shadow, and final comp, all done without a studio setup. It's a different approach to virtual production, and honestly, it feels like the direction where things are headed. Stick to the end towards the full video. After filming, we started with background removal, and for rotoscoping, we used Bing 2 background remover. It was impressive, it handled the footage well, but it did leave a few white fringes around the edge, but that's an easy fit using edge extension inside of Fusion. Now, here's the funny part. Just as we finished this video, Adobe dropped a major update to Photoshop background removal tool. We tested it out on some of our footage and the results were actually shocking. It would definitely become part of our rotoscoping workflow. After rotoscoping, we brought everything to Unreal Engine for compositing and that might sound crazy to some, but it actually worked. But we did run into some challenges. For relining, we tried using switch light. While it's a cool tool, the results that we got wasn't quite right. The skin ended up looking way too smooth and plastic, giving that uncanny valley look. So instead, we found a high quality normal map generator on GitHub. It keeps all the facial details sharp and realistic. Definitely a game changer for relining. We will share a tutorial soon on how to install it and use it inside of Unreal Engine. Another challenge was shadow. We had no shadow in the image. This is tricky because we are using real world camera tracked movement. This is not a static camera where you can fake the shadow and use virtual ones. We found a method that gave us full 3D shadow that tracks perfectly with the talent. This is great for anyone who cannot key out shadow or for those who want full control of 3D shadow. The last issue we ran into was ghosting in the final render. This isn't the first time this has happened to us. The first time it was frame rate mismatch on the media source. This time we thought the problem was motion blur or anti-aliasing. Turns out the problem was low temporal sample. We bump it up from 16 to 128. It took longer to render, but the ghosting disappeared. So as you can see, no studio, no green screen, just one outdoor shot, and we still pulled off a full visual effects comp. From clean roto to relining and real-time shadow, all done inside of Unreal Engine. It's proof that the tools are changing and the limits are being redefined. Subscribe for more videos like this, and if you wanna support the channel, you can join our Patreon. There we have some tutorials that we don't post here on YouTube, so links will be down in the description. You can check it out and see you in the next video.